The Bay Area's San Quentin State Prison is one of the most notorious prisons out there, but behind the walls and metal bars and barbed wire, on certain days, you'll find puppies. A little unexpected, but a program is matching the puppies up with inmates in hopes of changing both of their lives and helping others, too. Max Darrow spent a day at San Quentin with an inmate and a furry friend. Within the walls of prison, people can let time pass them by or find productive ways to pass the time. Aaron Ramsey prefers the latter. I've been incarcerated for eight years. I mean, I'm a person that's trying to better myself, as I said. Ramsey is serving a 25 to life sentence for first degree murder. Um, I committed the crime when I was 24 years old. Uh, it was a horrible decision, um, and I regret it every day. He is doing his best to lean into the rehabilitation side of incarceration by taking classes, working, coding, and more. The more responsibility, the more I can grow as a person. And he's just added a new one to the list. Ramsey has become one of San Quentin's first dog handlers. After a rigorous selection and vetting process, Ramsey and three other inmates in San Quentin's Donner ELU, the earned housing unit for inmates who've been disciplinary free, were chosen to raise and train puppies that will become service dogs for people with disabilities. That makes you want to do better. Like it gives you something to work harder for. The prison is partnering with the Santa Rosa nonprofit Canine Companions for the program. For CEO Paige Mazzoni, it was an emotional introduction as some of the inmates haven't seen dogs in decades. To me, this prison program just really shows the 360 view of what we do. Ramsey and the other handlers will raise and train the puppies within the walls of San Quentin. That'll include weekly classes at the prison with trainers from Canine Companions. After about a year and a half, the dogs will leave to become accredited service dogs. It's already helped someone when it leaves this prison. Um, the additional thing for us is those dogs are also going to go help someone else. And um, it's a beautiful full circle thing. This dog is supposed to you know, work and bring somebody great joy. So we have to train this dog the right way and uh, so he can accomplish that. San Quentin leaders believe this program will help inmates with rehabilitation. You know, they're going to be our neighbors one day. And, you know, it starts with being able to communicate. And I hope that we can provide them with as many uh, employable resources as we absolutely possibly can so that when they reintegrate back into society, they in our great citizens. Even though the program is new to San Quentin Prison, Canine Companions has run this in prisons all across the country. And of the hundreds of handlers that they've worked with, there's only been about a 5% recidivism rate. The power of the human canine bond is in completely transformative. And it's going to help here, and then it's going to go on and help other people. So it's. It's an amazing, powerful thing. Yeah, he's super full motivated. As he begins to build that bond, these are the feelings that Ramsey is eager to experience. Love, joy, no judgment. Being out on the yard with a dog. It makes me feel like a man again, like a human. Ramsey won't be eligible for parole until 2032 at the earliest. I know an apology is not going to atone for what I did. His mindset, as he does his time, He'd like to try to do good where he can. I'm not trying to do this for, for likes or to, you know, anything to curb my sins. I'm just really just trying to help people and help myself. Puppies providing a powerful purpose within and beyond the prison walls. So according to Canine Companions, the puppies raised by the handlers in the prison programs have a 10% higher success rate of actually becoming accredited service dogs. When they do, Canine Companions places them with people in need free of charge and they will follow up for life.